morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, and indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, this is Ring Runner Flight of the Sages, and I have been gifted this by the wonderful, lovely Alzaraf. Feel free to go check out his channel, he does regular giveaways, and he's awesome anyway. You know Alzaraf, he'll be on later on tonight with Endless Space. Anyway, we're going to play this completely blind here. I've got some options, I've got single player, this, that, and the other. It seems to be one of those shooty games, a bit like, um... Beat Hazard. Let's give ourselves a new profile. Name a new profile. Mod. Nine. No. One. There we go. Nine. Eight. Eight. Two. There we go. Confirm. Create. Switch to the mod profile. There we go. So we've got single player, multiplayer, hangar shop. We don't have stats and achievements. We'll look at them later. Options. Usual video bollocks. Audio. We don't need to worry about audio. Game. Mouse sensitivity. Blah, 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 blah. This lot. I. Rookie, Runner, or Sage. Let's leave it on default, and keybinds we don't need to worry too much about. Let's play the game. Begin campaign. Playing is completely blind, don't know what the hell's going on. Rookie, for players who are new to space shooters. Runner, for veterans of space shooters. Sage, for players seeking a challenge. For players who don't mind dying, don't mind dying a lot. Let's go for Runner. All my ears. It's Surgeon Simulator! What is this? Where am I? I was going to ask you that. Who said that I can't see you? Don't worry, you haven't lost your mind. Well, maybe just that little piece over there. Oh! That looks like Brain Fragment. They had to make room for me. I'm Nero, your new ne Nero hood. But you can refer to me as I. I'm confused. Yes, yes, questions. We'll get to those later. Right now, they're more pressing concerns. Like what? Like the abandoned ship alarm and the constant sound of explosions. Who's attacking us? How should I know? I was just born. You're the adult. And the one that decided to come to this unscrupulous place was bargain bin brain surgery? <laughs> was a tattoo or a piercing not exciting enough for you? Ugh, I don't remember any of it. it. Must have been some party. Now follow the dock signs before these bombs void my warranty. Oh wow, someone just left a mercury here. How providential. <gasps> That's pretty. I like that. Oh, that looks like the ship from Cowboy Bebop. Holy fuck, that does. Did you see it? Maybe it belonged to me. I knew there was something I liked about you, and I'm not just saying that because I'm in your head. You're a pilot. I assume you... You know how to fly one of uh, these things. Maybe. Just get in and hit the first you amnesiac caricature. <laughs> oh dear. Research progress at the end of a mission is determined by this, that, and the other. And okay, so punch it. Hold right trigger to activate engines. Right. Which one is it? Right trigger. Hold down right trigger. Okay, I'm getting a tutorial. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Use left stick, left steer, and left stick, right to steer right. You can switch between steering and directional rotation modes under options, game mode, aim. Okay, so this is something just to get us used to flying around, is it? Oh, there's a bit of inertia, actually. Oh, oh, oh. This is actually really tricky. <laughs> Big explosions behind us. Oh my god. Must go faster. Hold down right button for right button, yeah, for afterburners. I'm holding him. I'm holding him. Am I doing it wrong? This, this thing's got an evasion drive. Flick the right stick forward. Ah! 
Oh! Oh, I flew into a wall. Okay. Not expecting that at all. Oh, afterburners do work there. Okay. Ah, okay. I've got the afterburner working now. Oh, shit. I like this, except the fact I died already. So, so I'm gonna guess flicking the stick up is what made us um, do a barrel roll to the left. Yes. Now, if I do it down, yes, it works to the down as well. Oh, bugger! Okay, let's try and actually do it properly this time. Punch it. Yep. Go. Go. Boing. So does that mean right stick if I do right? <gasps> it does a proper boosh. Bow rolling everywhere. Shield, hull. It's a trench run from Star Wars. Apparently it's a slight cooldown on evasive manoeuvres. Oh, twitchy! Is that health? There's numbers. Is that our health being taken down? Well, that was an odd architectural decision. I think we're safe. Okay. Couple of ring runners, reason of distrust them. How do I shoot? I'm just going for that. Oh shit! Do I actually have a meter for how much thrust I have? And is that a boundary limit? Let's cross it. I've got to shut down for a few more minutes to update my firmware. Trench run complete. Bonus has failed. Not a scratch and time for bullets. Okay. That's different. Did you miss me? Uh, I think we have a situation. Okay. Bad, 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 bad. Go, go, go. Boosh. See that green line that keeps switching from turret to turret? That's your targeting line. Okay, so how do I actually shoot him? A lot of info here. Okay, the top left bar is sh energy. Okay. Heat, shields, and hulls and grey. This also seems to correlate with our different bars on the very left hand side of the screen. We got bars on the edge of the screen. The correspond. Ah, I just said that. The ship is destroyed when its hull is depleted. So that's the grey bar gone bye bye. We can display this info on a ship too, if you like. That would be handy, actually. Wee! <laughs> Spinny spin. Boosh. Let's just keep going this way. Weapons are bound to A and X, and movement ability is bound to B and Y. Oh, brakes! Oh, 
Ooh, that's kind of fun. Oh, it's the, that's a shotgun. Okay, that was pretty much point blank shotgun. That was awesome. No, 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 I want to linger. This is awesome. I'm going to guess the two little blue lines are... The little... I've got a horizontal line now, and there's two little vertical ones intersecting with it, and I'm going to guess those are the range of my guns. Boom! All right. Controls are a little fiddly, if I'm honest. <laughs> You're in a loon. Get to, you're in a loon's head. Boom! Okay. So the right stick basically makes us dodge in whatever direction we are pressing. Ah! You turn. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Oh my god, I could have so much fun with that. Just. Duck a dab, duck a dab, boom! Oh, <laughs> made it! I'm so proud of you. Really? I like this. Looks like we're in the clear. I kind of want to go back and kill more turrets. I do. I do want to go kill more turrets. Those runners are as crazy as we are. They followed us through the turret field. Bogey on our six. Can we outrun them? Our conventionals are faster, but we've got no anchor drive, so this will turn it into an endurance race. This Fred is a Fred. Chip is a Fred. Oh, Okay, so there's a red dot on our radar on the left-hand side of our screen. Boosh. Okay, let's go get him then. Oh, my God. Boom. And early boom. Uh, boom. Oh, shit. Wrong one. No. No, no. There we go. Proper dog fighting, awesome! And I got level up, is that? Oh wait, it's another one. Oh shit! It's a Y wing. Oh, I see you're trying to dog fight me, are you? Are you? Boom! Here comes another one. I get it, I use the brakes today. Oh, that's a speed boost. Why is the speed boost? Ooh. And down, 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 down. Boom. Boom, yes. They just keep coming. Shields and hull are looking good. Oh, point blank shot. Boom. And you again are going to go boom. Oh, I like the shotgun, I really do. Boom! Whoop! <laughs> Ali! Ali! Boosh! Boom! Nope! Boom. Okay, it's going to take me a while to get the hang of this properly, I think. Oh, 
Boing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, run away, run away. Bravely run away. <laughs> Kill. And... Boom. Boom. I'm liking the shotgun best. Boing. Plex obtained? Boing. Boing. Oh, the shield's gun. Dying would simplify things. That's a bit pessimistic. Wait, they actually want me to die? So if I keep spamming all these dodge buttons, I get really good, actually. Nero can recommend dying, but I don't want to die. Ah, okay. I think I found a good use of the brakes. Ace in the making, meaning what? Oh, my shield's recharged. Awesome. And my hull's recharging too. I suppose at some point I better had get on and die, hadn't I? Is that it? We're dead? A cloaking device on an escape capsule. Okay. Head for the waypoint. There's quite a bit of inertia in this. Boing. Fuck me. That's awesome. No idea what a plex is, though. I am enjoying this, though. Long range sensors are picking up a hole on the far side of this trash yard that might be salvageable. But you're not going <laughs> to like it. All right, let's go check it out, shall we? What is here waiting for us? It's a box. Ease up on the first. This capsule shield to it meant for heavy combat. Oh, brakes! Left triggers brakes, okay. So where are we? We need to go top left. Okay. God, that's amazing and a half. That's one hell of a maze. So is everybody else thinking so far? I'm liking this. It's groovy. And the music's quite atmospheric, actually. Scenery's pretty. I like this. I do like this quite a bit. Lots of inertia. Must remember. I think this is this level's just next size using the brakes now, isn't it? Got nothing else other than cannot issue command. No one would listen. Boing. Oh, the X has appeared on our map, which must mean we're getting closer. There's our level boundary there on the left. I'm going to guess that's level boundary now. There's another city crate. Avoid the crate. 
getting closer to the X. Then A1 Churchill. What the hell is an A1 Churchill? A relic from a great braver era when men explored the stars in glorified trash cans. You can only find these in museums and junkyards. Look, it's got a bumper sticker. It reads, my other ship is a coffin. How they know. Is there a way of zooming in? I'd like to see his ship a bit better. Bad news. The ship's engine seems to be busted. The engine is fine. It's just completely out of energy. Oh, good. Worry not, friend. One of the only CIR laws that runners actually follow is that every ship has to have two power cores. If you run out of energy in a ring, you could cause an anchor space collision that would wipe out the surrounding galaxy. Even this old Churchill has two cores. D-pad down to cycle cores and reload our energy tank. Bloody how much depth has it got in the controls? So what did I do then? There's nothing else I could do on the D-pad. So, head to the waypoint. Make sure to use that afterburners. This thing is slow enough as it is. There seems to be no downside to using the afterburners at all. This is just like an escape pod, only clunkier. Huh? So that mer what was it the mercury you had before? That wasn't too bad actually. We got no weapons apparently. Shit! 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 There we go. Ah, oh, we ain't got too far to go. Oh, if I fly up like this, the game, yeah, the game's going to shove us back in. It pushes, a, it's definitely a arena boundary. Definitely an arena boundary. Also, I noticed the green dot on the ship itself is getting closer and closer. Doesn't never mind. There we go. Go this way. Why? I'm part of your brain now. you got to learn to trust me. Just pretend you had to change your mind. <laughs> Oh, I see the waypoint. It's very faint, but it's there. Just to the to the uh, southwest of our position. Okay, so on the top left now. Okay, we've got no movement. But our, our controls are set to A, B, X, and Y on the top left, are they? And on the right by shields, we've got D-pad stuff. Okay, it's starting to come together now. So... What the fuck? <laughs> At least we know the rockets still work. The docking clamps didn't release, though. must be rusted. And then... And there's a cooldown on the missiles, by the look of it. This ship must have belonged to a Centrium because it looks like the docking clamps are rigged not to release on purpose. A pretty reckless way to get a boost of speed. Still, I suppose it's effective. We'll leave that bound to be just in case we need to haul. Try using A this time. Nice, we didn't blow up. Is this something I can collect? Plex. I have no idea what this Plex stuff is. And how far have we got to go to this waypoint? Oh, all the way down to the bottom left. Thanks, game. This is going to take us some sweet fucking time in this hunk of shit. Shit? Yeah, you've really got Vendetta respect against Space Trash. Space Trash killed my parents, really? No. Bonus garbage foe. Okay. Go forwards, please. Go forwards. More garbage on the left. Oh, 
Come on, trash container, give me your goodies. And you got nothing for me. Okay, let's just keep on going then. And boost. God, this thing's a handful. It turns well enough, though. Burn away. Power. Oh, floaty things. Floaty things are right close to us, so close we can't even focus on them properly. Power, 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 power. Around the corner. Oh, boing. No, we didn't boing. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, got it. Why should fire a salvo of four longbow rockets to try it out? And now our engines have. Oh, no, there we go. <gasps> oh, okay, so that's one rocket. All weapons are working. I see that box over there. Gently destroy it. How do you gently destroy something? I said gently, that was gentle. The warhead is leaking now, or maybe it was leaking in the first place. Either way, it should be safe. Let's get it. Space trash complete. Holy shit, how much? Okay, I got a funny feeling we're going to have to leave this episode here and have a play with this next time out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Mod. If you enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up. If you think your friends might enjoy it, please share it with them. Dream big, and we'll see you for another episode of Ring Runner next time. Bye-bye.